Hello, my beautiful, beautiful diamonds and my Teletubbies. You already know how I feel about you. We're getting ready to season our pork chops in advance. So that way you can put them in freezer bags. I got to fix my hair here a little bit, darlings. We're going to put them in freezer bags, well seasoned. So that way when you come home from work, because I work three jobs and I don't have time to you know, sit around here and try to <laughs> season up this and, and do all of that. Uh, yeah. One thing I want to bring to your attention, if you notice, I have my honeybee cooking apron. That's my bestie. And you already know that I am a woman who I want to support women supporting women. So if you are a supporter of my channel, I'm hoping that you'll go over to honeybee cooking <laughs> it's very nice and I, what I love about her channel is that she is so much more than my channel because you know we all eat chicken but you get tired of eating chicken the same way we all eat fish we all eat uh, hamburger or beef what have you etc 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 but you get tired of eating it the same exact way and the recipes that honey be cooking <laughs> She be cooking, honey. So she gives you different ways of going about cooking. So she not only have the aprons and everything to go along with it. Please do me a favor, guys. You said that you love Sheila Chula. And I have the subscribers and the supporters to show it. Over 200,000 subscribers. So I think that feels like love to me. That feels like love to me. And if you love me like that, then I promise you... You won't be disappointed if you go to Honey Bee Cooking Channel. Let me get up closer so you can see. And you can see me too. Hello, can we talk Joan Rivers? <laughs> Let's check out how I prepare my pork chops. Okay, first of all, we have these amazing pork chops. I want you to look at the price. $7.48. $7.48. And you see the way I pick my pork chop, they have to have a little fat in them. These are the ones who sell out the quickest because it's not choky, it's not dry, and it's just excellent pork chops. So let's go about preparing them. Come along with me, darlings, so I can show you how to prepare, prepare them so throughout the week they're already prepared. My sink is already clean. I always use my cleanser my uh anti whatever and you cleanse out the sink come with me as we do this as you see we first wash off the pork chop very good and i'm showing you ways to do things the easy way when you work at three jobs sweetheart trying to make that bag you don't have time for a whole lot of foolishness. Look at these thick, nice pork chops. Look at this. You only need one of these and a nice cucumber salad or a salad that I always show you how to prepare anyway. So we have these and we wash them up really nicely. Good. $7. $7 and 40, less than $8. Look at how many meals we have for less than $8. So that's one, two, three, four, that's six days. You could say a week. Okay? Like a week's worth of cooking. Hmm. Hold on a moment. Let me get my napkin here. Let me wipe my hand here, my darlings. Yeah. So let me show you how I prepare them. Look at my crazy hair. This is the wig I work, work wear for the weekend. When I'm going out, I get more jazzy and more dolled up. But for now, this is good enough for home, especially when you have company coming over later on in the evening. Don't forget, honey be cooking. Why? Everything she does is seasoned with loads and loads of love. You know what? You're not going to believe me. Just check out the channel. I'm serious. The way You're going to see the way I pick my friends also. Like they say... Show me your friends, and I'll tell you who you are. I'm going to show you the kind of friends that I pick. Check out her channel. Hold on a moment, my darlings. Let me get the seasonings. Now, I'm going to use garlic. 
And we're going to season that on one side. Move this over. Season that in the sink. And I'm going to tell you why I season my food in the sink. Because when it comes to cleanup time, come, come over here again. Look. When it comes to cleanup time <laughs> in the sink, we got that. And then we have our onion powder. You see, honey, we cook it. She do things a whole lot better than I do. She does it more professionally, but also the easy way. Because to be honest with you, that's what we need in life, easy. And then we have our seasoning salt, my darlings. Take a look. Yes. We're going to put our seasoning salt on our pork chops. Yes. Mm-hmm, child. And then we have to put our pepper, our pepper. And another thing I like is this garlic herb, garlic herb seasoning. And no, they're not praying me, honey, but they need to pay a sister like soon. But I, I'm going to get, I'm going to promote what I believe in. So we got that going on, right? And then we have it like that. And then we don't want to forget to put the pepper, pepper on. It is what it is. Pepper. And then what you do is you flip. You flip. <laughs> flip the pork chop over and do the exact same seasoning on the other side. Okay, so now that we have seasoned the meat on the other side. Now, I'm a firm believer in cleaning up as you go along. So I'm going to put these back here. If you notice here, I have my little seasoned magnet on my... I don't know why I think this is important for you to know. Clean as you go. So that way, when it's time for you to eat, it's not so hard for you to do the cleanup work. And that's important. So after you have seasoned up all of the meat and everything, we're going to get the freezer bags so that way when you come home from work, all you have to do, take note of my air fryer. I have a, a air fryer here. Yes, we have the air fryer oven, which is awesome. It's also a toaster oven. You could fry, air fry, put the meat right here. Put it on uh, air fry, put the minutes, and we're good to go. And I'm eating in like 20 to 30 minutes after a hard day's work. Three jobs. <laughs> okay, so we have this one. Or we can use the to toaster oven to bake it. Because sometimes you may want baked pork chops. You put aluminum foil on this, because you don't want to mess it up. Put aluminum foil, spray it with Pam. Could put some oil on the meat, put it in my darling, and yeah. So now let me show you how I just put it in my freezer bags so that way, sure, I'm always going to try to make my life easier. I am a Capricorn, very practical and always, always very sensible. Here we go, my darlings. You take one of them, put them in your freezer bag. Open up your freezer bag and you put that well-seasoned meat inside the freezer bag. One pork chop. There you have it with the one that's one day. And don't forget to eat that with vegetables. Just do vegetables or fruit, especially if you're diabetic like me. And you put it in this Caesar bag. That's two days. And then you open it up. You got that all patted down. You put it in this bag. And don't forget that when you are going to put it in your oven or your air fry, you spray it with some oil on top, spray it with oil on the bottom. I always have this oil sprayer, so you don't want to put too much oil. But that's pretty much the gist of it. And then you put it in the freezer and you just make it happen. Don't forget, my darling, honeybee cooking. She's cooking with lots and lots of love. I love you. Bye-bye for now.